But they weren't saved until Jesus went to the cross. Let me get back to the message. I just like to throw a nugget every now and then. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, God must give a right stand with Himself before you can really approach Him. You can't approach God any anyhow. As a matter of fact, when he is the last he was alive, I was a Rasta man then. I think I was. <laughs> but Rasta is right. I learned that anybody who come to the palace must learn how to approach him. And when you approach him, if you turn your back and walk away and chop it up, you got to back up. You got to back up. And here's the last demand that. Waiting for the God who created all things. In order for you to serve him, you have to know about him. So just come and say I'm Savior and you don't know the rules. There's, there are rules in heaven and there are rules in hell. Oh God. If you think I'm lying, what, you, what, I'm going to see an angel and cross him and so what And set you up. Why am I talking like this? Can I go back to preaching again? <laughs> For you to do kingdom work, God our helper, better known as the Holy Spirit, must lead and guide us in this Christian journey. If the Spirit of God is not leading you and none of it, so like I said before, we are called by God. Many are called, but few are chosen. Chosen to take the word of God to his people so they can become kingdom minded. That is our problem, even in redemption way. Our problem is we are not kingdom minded, we are more natural minded. You need to read the Bible and when you see, believe it and start to work with it. And when you do that, the Holy Spirit is going to teach you some stuff. Huh? I said when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, it's for you. In order for you to tell somebody, you got to break it down. Many are called, but few are sent. Hallelujah. Only few is sent into the world. Yes. Many are called, but few are given the message to preach and teach. Yes. So God give us the message. But we can't reveal the conversation to you. We, we, we got to break it down. We can only reveal the history of the conversation. And so the message of the conversation is found in Ephesians chapter 4. Praise the Lord somebody. Verse 8 to 12. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascend, what is it? But that he also descend into the lower part of the earth. He that descend is the same also that ascend far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave Pastor Dylan, no, I mean, sorry. And he gave some apostles to the church. And some prophets to the church. And some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the head of the body of Christ. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge 
of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Mm. So God called out of many a few. I feel to go into all the world, preach, teach, and baptize. Amen. God called out of many preachers, evangelists, mm -hmm. to preach the word in season and out of season. God called teachers yes. to teach his word yes. to edify the body of Christ. Yes. God called prophets. Yes. God called apostles. God called pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints. Pastor and teacher. When we teach you something, you don't need to say, me how to listen now. When we teach what the Bible says, let me back up. Because you have a false teacher out there. A false prophet. And they will lead you astray. Yes, true. But when the word open up to you, and if I teach you something, the Holy Spirit gonna touch your heart and say He's right. And then you have faith to do it. That's your. It's not on me. It's on you. Because I'm gonna tell you what God says, whether you like it or not. I'm going to tell you anyhow. And I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to tell you what the Lord tell me to tell you. Because if I don't do it this way, I might go and self. And start to tell you like some people tell you. God didn't say this and God didn't say that. I didn't get the message from God. You get it. And if God tell you, I say if God tell you, who am I? to go up against you with the same thing when he called his pastors and his teachers evangelists and prophets when they say something to you watch out but you must be a fruit inspector I say you must be a fruit inspector you don't judge nothing but let the fruit speak for itself mm-hmm God will see me going a river boat. <laughs> and then we continue to gamble. Something wrong with that. I don't care if I even love something I'm going to eat. Let me stop, yeah? I'm going to show you something that really, only children are going to really supposed to really get this. You know my mature to you. I'm gonna reveal something to you. Some of you may have known it already, and some of you don't. John the Baptist, the forerunner, mm -hmm. by the one who God sent to prepare the way for Jesus to come. Amen. You know about that, right? Yes. He came and preached repentance. Yes. But Jesus came and preached the kingdom of God. And in order for you to go to the kingdom of God, you got to confess. Come on now. So he preached the preach, kingdom of God and how to get there through repentance. Yes. Through confession, sorry. Confession, yeah. Now, I, I want you to get this. Yes. In Malachi chapter 4. Can I take you there? Yes. Everybody up here say, uh, oh, nobody don't need to say that to me, but it's all right. Yes. <laughs> Four and five, five and six, sorry. Malachi 4. He said, Behold, I send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts, the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children, their fathers, lest I come and smite thee with a curse. So we see, he said, behold, I'm going to send you Elijah. 
the prophet, right? Am I right? Okay, just turn over to Matthew chapter 17 real quick. Go and look. Remember what I just showed you a while ago, all right? Verse 1. And after six days, Jesus take Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them into a high mountain apart. I was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto him, appear unto them Moses yes. and Elias. You see him, Elijah, talking with him. You still with me? Yes, you sure? Yes, Verse 7. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise. And be, a, be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man, save Jesus alone. <laughs> As they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, until the Son of Man be raised again from the dead. Still with me? Yeah. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then describe? Why then says the scribe that Elias, Elijah, must come first? You, 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 you see what I'm saying? Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly come. I mean come. Shall come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you're still yes. looking for Elijah to come? Christ saying he come already. Yes. And then knew him not. But have done unto them whatsoever they list. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. You still here with me? Yes. Then the disciples understood that he speak unto them of John the Baptist. Yes. So John the Baptist yes. came yes. in the spirit of Elijah. Yes. He come already. Yes. So some, some teacher teaching that Elijah must come first before Christ can come. Here it is. Come already. That means the rapture can occur anytime. Let me show you something again. The last year. Well, write it down and go study it. Go to Matthew chapter 11. Make it say amen. Okay, try again. That's good enough. <laughs> Chapter 11, verse 7. And as they depart, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What went he out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went he out to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing and the king's house. But what went he out to see? A prophet? Yea, I said to you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, who shall prepare thy way before me. Oh gosh. Verily I say unto you, among them are them that are born of a woman, there has not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Talking about me, right? And from, that, from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And violence take it by force. You see with me? For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John. And if he will receive it. This is Elias, Elijah, which was far to come. He that has ear to hear, let him hear. I hope you get something this morning. So when you hear them say, Christ can't come because Elijah got to come first. He came already. Most people are still looking for Elijah to come. 
But Jesus shows that John the Baptist come in the spirit of Elijah. Kingdom works. Kingdom works. Mm. You see with me? From the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered. Suffered violence. And violence take it by force. They kill the prophet. They kill and then they kill the son of God. The king of glory. Violence. Take the kingdom by force. But Jesus the king of the kingdom says, if they crucify me, they will crucify you. Violence to the kingdom by force. But I learned that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Violence taken by force, but the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church. We must preach the king of the kingdom, who is the king of glory, who is the Lord of hosts, who is the Lord most high, Jesus Christ our Messiah. We must preach and tell the world about this. We must tell the nation about that. Tell them Jesus has come. We must declare his glory. We must speak of God's goodness and his mercy to all the children of men. Come on somebody. That's so how we must. Go tell it on the mountain. Tell it over the hills and everywhere. That the comforter has come. We must go and tell it that Jesus Christ is our Lord and is our Savior. Come on, somebody. We must tell the world about that greater salvation. We must tell them Jesus has come. And so we must tell the world the comforter has come and give joy to our soul. He gives joy to our hearts. He gives peace to those who love him. He gives joy and speak of his joy and full of glory to his chosen children. We praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We are called by God to go into all the world and tell the world of God's wonderful plan of salvation. We must let the world know that God has given us the opportunity to come into his kingdom. We must tell the world that God has given us the opportunity to become sons of God. We must let the world know the opportunity to go to heaven is now open. And it's now in your mouth. Just hope in your mouth and say, Lord, Save me. Hallelujah. Seek ye. Knock on heaven's door. Call upon him. And then we must tell the world that God has <laughs> and shocker them so they can be part of his kingdom. We must tell the world that the Lord came to seek those who are lost. Amen. We must go into all the world yes. as God reputing agents. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you are a coward, you won't go. Because you're going to say, they're going to talk bad about me. And I, 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 I don't like nobody talk bad about me. Talk bad about Jesus. They talk about Jesus, but they kill him too. They kill him too, so we must understand that this is not easy street until the Spirit of God come in you. He make it easy. When you totally trust God and trust God's Spirit, He make everything easy. Listen, I know some of you are here, you know some pride this morning, but I know some of you don't really believe this, but believe it. Joy don't come because you're rich. And joy don't come because you're poor. Joy come because of Jesus Christ. 
Some money can't buy it. And poor just can't get it. You have to get the truth, Jesus Christ. So the joy that I have, the word didn't give it to me, and the word can't take it from me. Oh gosh, I wish I could have preached to you. We must let the world know that God has given us the opportunity to become one of his child. We must let the people of the world know of this great opportunity. Ay, 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 ay. God has revealed to us and how to enter his kingdom to the heaven of rest named Jesus Christ. We must speak wisely of God's kingdom. We are called into share in the kingdom of heirs of God and joint here with Christ. We have to let the world know that God got your back. Come on to him. How is that a heavy laden with sin? And he will give you rest. We must tell the world of this great opportunity God made available for us. We're going to sit in his kingdom with the son Jesus Christ. We're going to sit with the fathers, Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. We must go into all the world and tell them of God's plan for humanity. We must explain to them that if they reject so great a salvation, they'll be cast into outer darkness. We must tell them that how to reject King Jesus will not enter into the kingdom of God. We must spread the word that all who were born for the kingdom will reject the king, will not enter the kingdom. We must let it be known that those who isn't converted to kingdom principles will not enter the kingdom of God. You cannot make feelings detour you from what is right. Praise the Lord. I know it's hard. I know it's hard for you. You're worldly and you change and People say stuff to you that they couldn't get away with a long time ago. And some of you just put your religion on your back shelf and make them know you won't take it. By putting a fist in their mouth and then you come back and go back by your knees and say, It don't work like that. <laughs> when, you call, when you call the dirty name, you say thank you. Because if it was one time, if I was one time to register Maria, you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh-huh. If it was one time, you couldn't stand in my face. That's right. God good enough. God really good. God really good. You know, coming up in Jamaica, nobody don't tell you about your mother, right? A prison work that, right? You know. A guy was half drunk one time and started to tell me about my mother. I didn't even know my mother. So I walk away. Come in and know my mother. And the wife keep following me up. And this one here jumped between the two and said, Please leave me alone, man. And by the time I said, Leave me alone, the guy was plucking his back. Talking, bam! Right over his shoulder. <laughs> when he get up, I can only see a shirt tail. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? All I got to do is walk away. But I wasn't a Christian. And let me say it one more time now. I'll make it plain now. You can use anything you want, don't beat me. But don't touch my wife. I forgot to say I'm safe. Love you, baby. <laughs> You 
You can't say anything to her. Because some of the matters they want. Some you know she can't take that. But when you touch her, help me help you. She's like talking like that, and then I record it. <laughs> well, no, I, I just want to show how much I love you, baby. <laughs> But you know something? The Bible. So the same thing I should do for my wife, I should do it for one of you too. I shouldn't be on the bus and you don't cussing you out and you remember the church. I mean, stand there looking. Huh? No man can jump between and say, hey, shut up, man. And quiet it down a little bit. And we go too far, then we have to take action. And then we come and repent. Because I love you all enough to take up for you. Praise the Lord, say. I got somebody who's just like me. <laughs> but I'm a changed man. And just like when I was in the world, I walk away. I run now. I run now. Because I know what I can do. And guess what? Yeah, so young boy, I will kill you with lick. So I don't want them to kill me lick, so I will run. <laughs> young people is different from when we were coming up. They know nothing about humanity. I went to Jamaica, my friend told me, man, if a boy 12 years old say gonna kill a beggar, and don't do it. Yes. Because he's gonna do it. Yes. When they tell you they're gonna kill you, beg them don't do it. Yes. Nine year old boy slinging gun like they're in the wild, wild west. I see a picture on YouTube. On YouTube. Anyway, I see some guys in Jamaica with some gun. We never know make gun like that. In the bush with the gold man in shore. A lady told me once that she see Bangam Pan coming. Right in Lynx in King Street. With the bullets across like Mexican. And in gold man in shore and police start run. <laughs> but no matter how bad you is, the law will get you. With the song I just the law the law one. All right, you know, so be careful. No matter how you try to go against the law, the law will beat you. So you're better off not go up against the law. I, I don't know why I'm talking to you like that, you know. But my brother Lou died, my brother Lou died, and God was a judge at Supreme Court, judge at Gun Court. And he told me, he said, listen. If a policeman says something to you, say yes, sir. Because he may beat you and beat you bad and lose in job, but he'll get beaten. <laughs> and you, you, you may can't walk again. So when the police says something to you, say yes, sir. And, and, and that's until all his son them to beat your baby. Praise the Lord. I have a nephew who wrote another book. And the book, it said something like 200,000 already, something like that. He, 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 he didn't move, he, the one he wrote before this, that he make the almost million pounds in England or whatever it is. He's going to make a movie. He wrote about Bob Marley, The Seven Killings. You must hear what that is, all over the TV. His name Murray, Marlon James. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you see, it's a different thing. <laughs> we love to write. And you have a heart, it's in the Dylan family. Who no sing, write. Who no write, draw. We praise the Lord. Yes. So we must spread the word. Yes. Every one of us in here must spread the word. Must tell somebody if you reject God's kingdom plan, 
you're going to hell. Amen. Don't be afraid to say it like it is. Let him know that those who is converted to kingdom work our Christian principles will not enter the kingdom of God. Let it be known that those who